Wow, I got God on the inside of me. I'm a temple of the Holy Ghost. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, that dead raising powers on the inside of me. The same power that raised up Lazarus. The same power that raised up and healed blind Bartimaeus. The same power that healed the widow woman's son. The same power that healed the centurion's servant. It's the same power that's on the inside of you right now. Move, experience God. Experience God. This is natural. This is normal for the believer. It's normal for somebody that's sent from heaven. See, this is important. You need to hear testimonies. You need to hear some things. Watch, this is going to happen the whole time. Go ahead. Tell us what's going on. Um, I've just been having some back issues and some neck issues just from carrying her around and stuff. Uh, and uh, when I stood up, I just felt warmth and just everything just flowing through all of my body and just just exercising that faith and just letting everything move the way it's supposed to. Just Praise God. Because that's normal. Amen. Normal. Who else? I'm going to get my workout tonight. What's going on, ma'am? I can run again. You can run? Let's go run. Babe. Come on, mama. Here. Now, what was going on? She says she could run again. What's going on? I, um, I fell on my knee about five or six years ago, and the Lord told me that the bone turned, and He turned it back, and it's just been gradual healing. And I told Him I was so tired of it, not being able to run on it. And you said, Get up. We're from heaven. I'm like, and I told the Lord on Sunday, I'm tired of this. I want the full recovery. So, anyway, I haven't ran in a while, so I'm breathless. I'm sorry. That is great. God is good. Praise God. Yeah. Woo! Oh, doesn't, hurt. doesn't hurt. Praise God. Who else? Who else? Who else? Yes, ma'am. This is normal for the church. I have this finger. It would bend back and it's still kind of doing that, but God is healing it because I couldn't even do that. Couldn't do that. Mm -mm. Now you can. Yes. That's normal. Praise God. That's normal. Who else? Who else? Who else? See, notice this isn't happening in a third world country. This isn't happening in a soccer stadium that seats 100,000. This is happening in the body of Christ. Wherever we are, he is. Second Corinthians 5, 17 says, If any man be in Christ, he becomes a brand new creation. All things pass away. All things become new. Galatians. Why in the world do you think we can lay hands on the sick and expect them to recover? Because something on the inside is flowing on the outside. That's why the woman with the issue of blood can go up and, and say, I knew if I can just touch him, something's going to come out. Jesus didn't even try. Just, Whoa, something. What was that? Who else? Who else? Who else? I saw a whole bunch of hands. Yes, sir. We run a food bank, and last uh, week when uh, we were supposed to have a bunch of help to unload these 10 ton of food, they didn't show. So us older guys had to do all the work, and I tweaked my back really bad, mm -hmm. and uh, it was so sore. And sometimes I'd just move, and just like you'd gouge me, you know, yeah. and uh, that soreness, I just... It's just gone. I've just Praise God. And it just went away. Praise, Praise God. God. Who else? Jesus wants you not to conform to this world, but to be transformed by the changing of your thinking so that the realities of heaven become more real to you than the realities of this world. What's up? I came in here on a walker. Hang on, make it your mic, make it your mic, make it your mic. I came in here with a walker. I got witnesses, I couldn't hardly walk. Two years ago, I was dead. Pastor Hagen, you and Brother Doug came up to and worked with Will. And your, your dad has changed my whole family. My son's preaching the gospel. 
My little grandchildren are living for the Lord, and I'm healed of God. And I'm fixing to go back, and I'm going to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ and his goodness and his mercy. If God can heal Brother Hagen of a heart disease, he could heal me. So I took a step of faith down here. And I'm standing. Come on, let's rejoice. Let's rejoice. Let's rejoice. And I don't have a walker. And I'm not going back to the wheelchair. And I'm not going to die. And I'm going to live. Your daddy used to say, I'm not a gonna die. I'm not a gonna die. Yes, sir. I had really bad arm arm pain. I was lifting my wife's uh, suitcase. She packs rocks in it, and I got to put it up on the. And it was really, really bad for a long time. And all of a sudden, in this service, it just got pains left. Thank God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Who else? I was just, I dislocated my rotator cuff. Uh-huh. And I couldn't raise my arm up. I couldn't do this. <laughs> Amen. But the Lord said, receive your healing. Yeah. At first, I didn't say anything because yeah. I was still feeling the soreness, and I felt some heat go through my muscle. Felt heat go through the muscle. Yeah. I went to God said, receive your healing. Receive it. As you've received Christ, walk in Him. Walk in Him. It's in Him we live. It's in Him we move. It's in Him we have our being. The life of a Christian is a life in Christ. Yes, sir. I've received my knee replacements, both of them. Yeah? Amen. What was going on? I needed knee replacements. Yeah? How you doing? I'm doing good. Well, let's go check it out. Come on, let's go walk. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Glory! 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 Come on, lift your hands. Give God glory. Let's praise Him. Magnify Him. Lift His name up. Brag on Him. Hallelujah! God is faithful. He's faithful. He's faithful. Come on, this is normal. This is natural. This is normal. Woo! Glory! Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. So. Hey, turn around so the cameras can see. Okay, when you started preaching, I'm sitting kind of in the middle back there. When you started preaching, I thought you had a solid gray shirt on. Uh -huh. <laughs> so not only can I now see that you're wearing stripes, but I can see all the little dots in the ceiling huh. and all the little dots in the black fabric and everything. So what, what was going on with your eyes? Just, you know, I'm 46. But praise God, I don't have to lose my vision just because I'm 46. So you're losing your vision? You know. People try to tell you that you have to have reading glasses or you get older. And I had glasses before and I was supernaturally healed once before and didn't have to use the glasses. And then I noticed that over time I had kind of lost some of that and I was having a little trouble struggling here recently reading. And people were like, ah, you're 46. You're over 40. You're over 40. Say, like, shut up, devil. Shut up, devil. <laughs> I got my hot dead vision back. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Who else? Yes, ma'am. I guess for the last several months, um, I had problems with my back, huh? being able to bend over. Um, I was going to the chiropractor, and he would go to manipulate my back, and I asked him to please not do it so hard. But I was sitting back there. <laughs> and my arm I, I don't know about rotator cuffs I've heard about people having right. rotator cuff problems <clears throat> and my arm was hurting for the last several weeks 
Praise God. Let's praise Him. Hallelujah. What's going on? Where's the camera? Right here? Oh boy, okay. Hey, we want to see. The world needs to know. This is real. I'll first tell you, I was in Walmart a couple of days ago, uh, yesterday in fact, and a lady that attended church here, mm -hmm. we just struck up a conversation. I said her kid was cute and she started talking to me. And so she started the typical, like, you know, where do you go to church, blah, blah, blah. And I'm really put off by that typically. I mean, I was raised Catholic, yeah. you know, and so um, anyway, she prayed with me and I felt something and I mean, I've always known God and Christ and she said, go to church. And, I, and she said, Raymond's doing this thing. I don't know what it's called, but they're doing it all week. And so I looked it up and I came last night and I was gonna come this evening, but I have something else planned. So I just last minute changed and came now. And anyway, long story short, I was in a car wreck and my knee's been hurting for mm -hmm. <clears throat> a few months and just swollen. Yeah. And How's it right now? It's like. It's not swollen? You move it? Yeah. Yeah, pain free? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, sir. Yeah, I've had pain and stiffness in my right shoulder since uh -huh. about November. Uh -huh. It's now gone. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody else? Oh, what's up, darling? Yes, ma'am. Your head was hurting and now it's not? Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's normal. Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. Come meet me halfway. I've got a feeling I'm kind of tired. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I've been getting like these chronic migraines. <laughs> for like three years straight and they put me in the hospital they're so bad so I was just sitting back there and I've had one today and they get worse like day by day and I was just like God I am not this it can't be I don't want this healing but they tell me it was um tension they tell me it was my teeth so I got my wisdom teeth removed then that didn't work so they told me it was migraines so I just started moving everything and my headache is gone praise God Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody else? I just started having some pain in my uh, right heel. I think maybe plantar fasciitis. I'm not really sure, but I've been to the chiropractor, had it adjusted, and been adjusting it pretty much at home and dealing with it for a couple of months. And it's absolutely no pain. <laughs> God is faithful. Yes, He is. 